video was supposed to be a food video, but this is like semi-related, right? Herbs? Basically, I wanted to hop on here today and do a quick little video on how I DIY my own herb garden for a very low budget. Originally, I wanted to name this video how to DIY your own herb garden for free, but technically that wouldn't be true because the herbs I had bought, technically. But the garden itself was pretty much free. Yeah, I also wanted to preface that I am not a plant person, I'm not a planter. I literally just got my first plants this summer, so please don't take my planting advice. This is just a story on how I DIY'd an herb garden. So if you're from Montreal, I wanted to introduce you guys to this trading group on Facebook called Buns. Yeah, I'll get more into it, but it's basically this really tight-knit community um, on Facebook where you can trade things that you don't want for things that you need. So step one to make an herb garden, you need a container. I've always wanted an herb garden for the summer, but I didn't know where to start. So I was walking literally on the street one day and I saw someone had thrown away this drawer. And I had remember like, you know those masterclass YouTube ads? Um, this guy made an herb garden from a drawer. And so I saw this drawer and I was like, this is it, this is a sign. It was like free on the side of the road. It was really cute, it had a golden handle and everything. So I brought it home and that was the beginning of it all. <laughs> Basically, I used that to be the base of my herb garden. So after I did a little more research, I realized that I actually needed draining holes at the bottom of the container. Um, so when you water it, it has it doesn't get too like flooded in there, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a gardener. But then I realized I am not Bob the Builder. I have never used a drill. I don't have a drill. I live in like a very student-centric area and not a lot of people I know, which is not many people I know. I really don't know many people here. Didn't have a drill that I can borrow or anything. So where the hell can I get a drill? Because number one, I don't want to buy a drill. I'm only going to use it for one project. And so this is where the Facebook group comes in. My neighbor's friend had introduced me to this Facebook group called Buns. So shout out to David. So I made a post quickly about in search of drill. Um, a lot of people actually commented and I really only needed it for a few hours. And this girl who lives really close to me says, you can use it for an afternoon and I'll trade you with kombucha. And guess who had one can of kombucha in her fridge? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's me. I grabbed the kombucha, walked over, literally a three-minute walk, and traded with her cute little drill kit. Um, I brought. I had this. Is this oh, okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you really like my camera. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just try to bring it back today. And then I came home and I pretended like I knew what I was doing. I had to watch a few YouTube tutorials but I did it in the end. I wouldn't recommend doing it the way I did. I literally don't know what I'm doing, so be safe when you use a drill. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. It's not letting me, it's not letting me drill. It's not turning. Is this like normal? Ah! Bob the Builder. Am I? Okay, I'm gonna put this the fuck away before I get hurt. But yeah, fucking did that. But the point being, this Facebook group was is so amazing. It really allows you to be minimalist because you don't have to buy something. Just a tip if you don't live in Montreal, actually a lot of cities do have these Facebook groups and they're usually called like no buy or free stuff, no buy groups. I know a lot of big cities have something similar, so definitely search it up. So I drilled a few holes, I did it really wrong, I think. I was not smart about it, but it got the job done. And then next step is you need to fill the freaking container with soil. So for this, I also used the Facebook group. Um, I was scrolling on there one day and this lady had posted um, half a bag of soil that she wanted to get rid of and she said name your trade which I have learned is NYT Yeah, so I said I have a can of coconut milk in my pantry. Would you take it? And she said yes So I metroed there, traded with her 
and it was amazing. So this lady, I told her I was making a video on how to make an herb garden and she introduced me to a subgroup of the same Facebook group called Buns Plants or something like that. And basically people go on there and trade plants. So I was like, this is amazing. So at first I planned on using it, but I, in the end I got a little lazy and impatient. So I actually bought my herbs instead of trading it. But if you are on a very like low budget and you do want to trade things, that's an option. So now I have a super cute herb garden in my balcony. because I am praying so hard that it doesn't really wither. My basil and my thyme is kind of withering and I'm kind of concerned, but I'm gonna do more research and try to upkeep it. But the point of this video is that you can be super resourceful and you can find a lot of random things on the side of the street and if you can't, then try Facebook groups. Um, other things I recommend, also Facebook Marketplace is sometimes a good place to buy cheaper things or secondhand things that people don't want anymore but always keep an eye out on containers on the side of the road I'll probably insert some other ideas on what you can use as the container of your herb garden so yes I'm really proud of it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of a random one but it's low waste convenient super cute what else can you ask for? Thank you for watching if you stay till the end of this video. Subscribe and like if you want to watch more videos that are vegan, Montreal, low waste related. I don't know, do it if you want to, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.